Today we're going to learn how to connect the BL Touch to the Big Tree SKR version 1.3. Need to explain a couple things about the BL Touch. First of all, we have two cables that are connected to it. The black and white cable is for the Z minimum. So the black is ground and the white is signal. I'll show you a little bit more in detail on this in just a second after I show you the underside of the board, but I need to explain the actual servo connector. Now there are three wires as you can see here. There's a brown, an orange, and a yellow. The brown wire is going to be ground the red wire is going to be voltage and the yellow wire is going to be signal. So in a moment I'm going to flip over the SKR version 1.3 and show you the underside for the servo connector here because we need to figure out where the actual pins are for this and unfortunately they're not listed in the pinout diagram they are in the schematic, but it's a little bit uh, overwhelming to show on uh, video, so I'll show you that in just a moment. Okay, here's the underside of the SKR version 1.3, and the pins that we're looking for are located right here. So you have your 5 volt, your ground, and then you have your signal. Keep in mind that the power supply is in this direction. So in a moment, I'll show you how we're going to wire this up. Okay, before we can wire up the end stop for the BL touch, we need to know what the Z minimum is for each one of the pins here. So we have three pins. So it's voltage, ground, signal, as you can see written in between here. So voltage is on top, then we have ground, and then we have signal. So in a moment I'm going to show you how to wire up the board. Okay, as you can see where we checked the actual voltage, ground, and signal, they don't line up with the actual pins that we would have here because we have ground, voltage, signal. So we need to deal with that. So the way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna take jumpers for jumper wires and it's a male-female connection. So I'm gonna put the one for voltage as orange. Then I'm gonna put the signal as yellow and then I'm going to do the ground as brown so that they match up. So I put a little cheat sheet here that says what is voltage, ground, and signal. So we're going to start with voltage and that's going to be our orange wire. So we're going to take that and we're going to plug it in right here. Next we're going to do ground, which is the brown wire, and we're going to do it right here. And then finally the signal, which is yellow, and we're going to put that right here. So we're all set with that. So next we have to do the Z minimum. So we know that it goes voltage ground signal so we need to have the black wire in the center for the pin and the white wire on the outside and there we go so in a moment we're gonna load the Marlin firmware in order to do that we need to connect the USB serial cable so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the big side of the USB serial to the board and the small side to the computer and you're going to hear a beep and I'll move this over so you can see that it lights up
Okay, and in just a moment, I'll show you in Atom with Platform IO's plugin how to load the Marlin firmware. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is that uh, the USB acts like a drive on the SKR version 1.3. So currently on the TF drive, it says firmware.cur. What that means is it's current firmware. So I wanted to show you this so you can see what happens after we load the firmware. So in a moment, I'm going to show you in Atom with platform IO how to do it. So let's get moving. First of all, we need to navigate to the source directory, then the core directory, and then boards.h. We're going to search on SKR. And the one that we're looking for is board underscore big tree underscore S K R underscore V one underscore three. So we're going to copy that. Then we're going to close out of the boards.h. We're going to go to configuration.h. And what we're looking for is motherboard. So what we need to do is change board underscore ramps underscore one four underscore E F B with what we just copied. So we're going to paste it here. And then up above, what we need to do is change our port setting for the serial port up here. It has to be negative one in the case of the SKR version 1.3. Now we're going to search on BL touch. And what we have here is the BL touch, but it's commented. So we're going to remove the comment by backspacing. So now it's enabled. And we also have to set up our servo port. So we're going to do a search on num servo. So that's num underscore servo. And what we're looking for is right here. So it says define num underscore servo and it says three but it's commented out so we need to remove the comment and we only have one servo on the SKR version 1.3 so we're going to remove two of them and change it to one. Now here's the delay you can play with that on your own time but it's about a third of a second so we're all set there. The next thing that we need to do is set up platform IO. So we need to scroll down to platform IO. And inside platform IO, it has environment default, which right now is the mega, 80 mega, mega, excuse me. <clears throat> it's the mega, 80 mega, 2560. So what we need to do is change that to our chipset, which is down here. So if you scroll down, we have our chipset, which is the ARM Cortex-M3. So we're going to copy this environment right here, which is LPC 1768. And we're going to scroll back up. And we're going to replace Mega 18 mega 2560 with what we just copied and keep in mind if uh, you haven't already seen me do this in other tutorials the way that we load this is we go to file and then we're going to do open folder for the Marlin folder in order to do the edits so now that we have everything all set we're going to compile and then upload with the upload button so in a moment, I'll show you what happens on the USB drive for the SKR13 and how it has changed. So here we go. Okay, as you can see, the uh, USB drive for the SKR1.3 now has a new file called firmware.bin 
in addition to firmware.cur. Now I'm going to remove the USB drive so you can see what happens. Now I'm going to reinsert it. And now we have firmware.cur. So it means that the actual firmware probably loaded. So let me also show you real quick here that uh, the firmware was successful with its compile. So we're going to go over to toggle build panel. And as you can see, it's successful. It took a while, but it's successful. So in a moment, I'm going to show you in Pronterface how we're going to test the BL touch on the SKR. 1.3 okay we're in the Pronterface folder so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Pronterface we're gonna connect to the SKR 1.3 as you can see we're connected so next I'm gonna type M119 and see what the value of the end steps are keep in mind that X and Y are disconnected so we should only see the status for the Z end stop so as you can see the Z minimum end stop is set to open so I'm going to press the home for Z over here and then I'm going to actuate it with my hand and then we'll check what the status is again. So here we go. Okay, now that I've actuated with my hand, I'm going to type M119 again to see what the status is. And now it says triggered. So if you like my tutorial, please press the like button and subscribe. And thank you for your time.